So I'm using the Rasa 11 to capture with the one shot color camera that is the ZWO 071 and Optolong L enhanced filter to capture the pictures. If you are using telephoto lens or if you are using astrographs using F2 refractors, any one of those fast refractors choices that we have, it would be a lot easier and quick if we can use the color camera to take a picture. Ideally, if you put a dual band or a tri-band filters on top of the color camera, you definitely can capture a pretty good signal in your picture rather than taking a, a picture without those filters. So I wanted to give a try to a popular choice these days is Optolong L enhanced filter with my RASA 11 to see how the pictures are going to come out. So recently I saw a picture from Dylan and he got a lot of hydrogen alpha signal around his Orion. So I wanted to try using my color camera and put the Optolong L enhanced filter and see if I can capture that signal. When you are taking picture of Orion, one of the things that you will notice is the core of the Orion is so bright. So you have to take some pictures of long exposures, whether it is 60 seconds, 90 seconds or four minutes or whatever. But you definitely need to take some really short exposures like 30 seconds or 20 seconds depends on how much signal you can gather and overlay the shorter exposures on top of your long exposures pictures to actually reduce the intensity of the core. I think that is going to make your picture look better. And also the long exposures will give you the nebulosity around that hydrogen alpha signal, which is going to make the picture come out really good. I'll show you guys how I captured that picture of Orion Nebula. Yeah, one of the main things that I was really surprised is when I was taking pictures, I set up my camera, the usual, which is in the ASI camera setting, I set it up as HDR. When HDR is set up, usually it goes to like gain equal to zero, offset eight. This is what I was taking pictures with. And when I took a picture, I got only a signal of 291. Even though the picture looks good, but the signal is only like 291. I changed my camera setting for the very first time using the Hyperstar or even Rasa system is to unity gain to get a good signal. So I set it up to unity gain, gain equal to 90. This is the choice that ZWO gives. I didn't make it to 139. I left the offset to 20 the way it was. And with this choice, on this color camera with Optolong L enhanced filter, I was able to get signal up to 764, which is almost like either two times or even more. And the picture came out really good. But these are my longer exposures. I'm taking like 60 second exposures at this time. And if I go to the view like show sequence and resume sequence i just paused it to show you guys the camera setting i'm continuing the ph it's pretty windy outside so the phd is uh, doing okay i mean it's not like really great it is doing uh, close to it starts somewhere in that ballpark of between 0.5 and 1 once the dither comes in, it goes up to like one. This is the CGXL mount with the RAS 11. I would say anywhere between 0.5 and one. That's where the guiding is without the dithering. Once the dither comes in, I think it will bump up to like 1.17 or so. It's pretty windy, so the guiding is not bad at all for the wind conditions. So if you see, it is taking 60 second exposures right now. And uh, 
I think the stars are sl slightly bigger in this region. So, two point one seven. That's the best I could get for these stars in this region because there are like pretty bright and big stars out there. 769 is the readout right now. I still need to take, if you see my sequence right now, uh, forget these two parts. I am doing the unity gain, 60 second exposure. I just put 600 here. I don't think I'll go that long. I'll take maybe another hour or so. I'm planning to take maybe like three, four hours at the most. And that's quite a lot with Rasa and for Orion. And I might take some shorter exposures based on what I'm seeing here. Like if I make it into half, which is like 30 second exposures, I think I may be okay. I don't want to go lower than that one because once I go lower than 30 second exposures, I don't think I'll get any signal. The meridian flip is going to happen two hours from now. So probably I'll go that far and I'll kind of stop these longer exposures and I'll move to the shorter exposures.